see we got our nice little floating world where everything's happy nobody dies until you fall off the edge well not really welcome everyone to another graphics tutorial on C sharp and um this one's gonna be actually really quick like in comparison to my other ones before, you know, they were probably, I don't know, some of them have been a half an hour. That seems to be what I do, is half an hour. Um, earlier ones were shorter, but with more complicated things, more time. So to get right into it, what I'm going to be doing today is, you know, this looks pretty good. It looks like he's moving around and whatnot. But you realize that when I looked at the video, all these lines here, and you see just drawn out boxes, it's kind of, I don't know, it's not very good looking as far as just um, aesthetics so I decided let's do some actual texture instead of just drawing these rectangles so basically the first thing we're gonna do and I'll just go ahead and exit out of here and um, no I don't want that okay later okay there we go basically the first thing that I want to do here is get another um, another image in so we have creature and background here right well, what we need to do is now add, in fact, let me zoom in here, so you guys can see. I'll zoom in pretty far there, okay. You know, add a bitmap. Uh, yes, bitmap. And we'll call it texture. Or grass. Because I think I might have used texture already. So, now that texture grass is defined, let's make it equal to something. So, let's go down here, we'll go uh, texture uh, your grass is equal to new bitmap and um, it's to a similar location as this one so just copy that in, like I always do, copy and pasting we must save time, and then we're going to call this grass.png because I already have made a grass.png and you'll be able to see it as soon as I load it in. So, um, next part as you see, we have down here, is it here? No, 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 no. It's in... <laughs> this shouldn't take me as long as it's taking me. But, um, I'm just in a rush, I guess, and I didn't think... Okay, here it is. As you can see, right here, draw rectangles, new pen, brushes, dot dark, sea green, etc, etc, blah, 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 blah. So, um... Let's see, instead of doing that, we're going to actually do um, draw image. So draw image, and then and we're going to have to do, let's see, can I set it to just a second? Points, point. It's going to need to be a rectangle, but I'm wondering if I can just, okay, so I have to do them individually each rectangle at a time so here in fact I'm wondering did I set this to an image up here draw image draw okay okay we're fine on that part so um, I was just making sure that I drew it to an image before drawing to the screen which maybe this isn't so don't worry about it so for NTI is equal to zero and I don't think I've you know, I haven't used I in this method yet. So it's less than um, terrain rex dot length and then I plus plus. So we're increasing by increments of wrong bracket. By increments of increments of one of course. And then this thing, we'll just get rid of that for now. And then in here let's see, okay. So for um, CSCG dot draw image. We're going to draw it to, let's see, the image is texture grass, and then we're drawing it to, and let's see, um, terrain rex i. So basically, what this is doing is it's drawing it to the graphics, which is, of course, the screen. Oops screen and this is draw image method and then you specify the image you want drawn and then into which rectangle do you want it to draw. This is of course array and we're selecting eye position on that array. So let's test that out and see if that worked. 
Um, it's possible may have changed the. Oh, okay, good. So as you can see, got the nice little terrain drawn here, and everything's basically normal. The only thing that I see as a problem is you cannot see where the little gold squares are. If you remember before, we had little gold squares, and I do not see them anywhere. So, for instance, if we take, yeah, gotta stop it first. If we take this line out, and we look, there's a little gold square you're supposed to pick up, right? Well, I can't see those, and that's because this is drawn afterwards, and it draws over the whole thing. So, what we're gonna do is see this fill rectangles, control X, so we're gonna remove, remove it from there, and we're gonna drop it down right there. So, they should reappear, and there they are, and we can pick them up like normal. So, now that we've done that, as you can see, we got our nice little floating world where everything's happy, nobody dies until you fall off the edge. Well, not really. Can't really fall off the edge. So, um, let's keep on picking up this golden squares and while I try to think of something else interesting to show you. And actually, I do kind of want to check something, and I think I'm done picking up golden squares. And that is, um, let's see, SCG, I think, stand for, oh, I'm always doing that, stands for, like, screen graphics or something. So, if we go up here, we can see, okay, from image background. Okay, so, that's not the screen graphics. I was afraid that it was, because if we were drawing it directly to the screen, it'd be kind of choppy. Um, but it's not, so. As you can see, G is to the screen. Now, let's see. Um, anything else of terrible importance? At least I do not think so. No, not at all. Okay, draw image, point. And I think that is it. Um, maybe the only thing that I can think of that we could change next would be to, um, to add stuff like objects, like for instance, it, not just picking up these little golden squares, maybe we'd want to add, say, a sword or something that you could pick up and conquer the world with, mm, or hands or something. I, I think we should probably start with the hands. So, um, maybe next time in the graphics tutorials, because honestly, even though this one was short, I got what I wanted to show you guys done, and adding something like a sword or hands for them to pick up so that it would be displayed would mean going and making the graphic for that and a bunch of other stuff. So I'm not actually prepared to show you that yet, but that will be soon and uh, in the new future, and maybe we'll add some trees or something to his little map. So that is all for now, and I'll see you guys next time.